Okay, hi, hi, is everybody? Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, the 20th of September. A uh, couple of thumbs up as long as you can hear me and see me okay, then we'll get started. Thanks very much, George and Dawn and Roy, Ruth, Fatima, yeah, June Bucky, Manesta, Hilliard. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, wow, lots of stuff been happening. Uh, first off then, which I want to bring up for you then, is logging into your back office. When you log into your back office, is quite a long pop-up there that everybody needs to read. Uh, it's important that people follow the steps and the advice that has been given on there. Why is it there? It's there because uh, certain people have overstepped marks and we need to protect what we are doing. It's very simple instructions there. And if you are an admin of any group, please go into those groups and have a good look around. All you need to do is to scroll back a uh, week and a half, and then go forward from there. If there is anything in there that needs to be deleted, please go ahead and do so. Uh, then we are all doing our part uh, to protect our business on Passive. A new video will be coming out. And also remember, part of the information that we were given was, Ash was saying, there will be an official press release OK, about what we are doing. We haven't had that yet. A lot of people have jumped the mark. So uh, let's do our bit. OK, uh, go into all of the chats, do what you need to be doing. Any um, YouTube channels, get rid of those as well. Off your YouTube channels if they are there. Uh, OK, and let's wait for the official video and the official press release that we will be getting. And then we can go mad with it to every man and his dog. So that's the first piece of information that I wanted to bring to you. The second one is, it's my understanding that the pending founder positions are going to be extended for a few days. How long a few days is, I don't know. Is it two? Is it three? Again, I don't know. Uh, but uh, that was from Ash himself. He said for a few days. Uh, why? Uh, because we, the company, understand that there has been some niggles along the way as far as people paying, uh, people receiving emails, logging in, invalid credentials, all of the above. It doesn't seem to be a one size fits all, this guys. It seems to be very, very spr uh, uh, sporadic. Uh, some people are registering no problem and paying no problem. And it all goes through very quickly. But Ash does understand that is a lot of people panicking, a lot of people getting a little bit frustrated and anxious uh, because they can't pay for their positions within the time frame that has been allotted. So this is going to get extended for a couple of days, a few days, whether that's two, whether that's three. Uh, I don't know. But obviously, we will let you know. Now, talking of uh, paying for pendings, now people have been saying they haven't even been receiving the email with the temporary passwords through, or they are trying to log in and it's coming up with invalid credentials. One of the things we have found that seems to work, and it's no guarantee, but it seems, seems to work, is if you go to the ofounders.net login page, and you put in the email that has been registered, okay, in the reset password. So go to the login page and it says reset password. Click reset password, put in the email that has been registered and press send. And that should give you a new password that will come through to that email. Remember, guys, it's the email that has been registered that you need to check on to make sure everything is working okay. And that should then bring you to the payment page. Again, people have been saying, how do I pay for it? What can I use? All the information as far as what you can use to pay for your position is on that payment page. 
Now, I have registered an awful lot of people uh, for pending founders uh, to the tune of right, 50 or 60 who haven't paid. If you haven't paid, guys, come on, pull your fingers out. OK, there's no point in making me work. You work by giving me the details. I do it all. You get it. And you're not going to be bothered to pay. If you've changed your mind, absolutely fine. But let me know. OK, because then I can let that position go to somebody else. If you do know of anybody who wants one, I have some. They're June 2020. Fantastic position. Around about 1,900,000 founders at that point. So they really are amazing positions. If you want one, contact me on uh, private messenger on Facebook, or you can email me at redredfern1 at gmail.com. If somebody would put that in the chat, that would be absolutely fantastic. So uh, lots have been going on. Uh, remember, we've been seeing Ash a lot over the last week or so. And uh, every time he's been on, he has come up with some really good information. Uh, the Sunday morning one, if you haven't seen that yet, I posted in this YouTube channel just the Ash part of it. OK, so if you want to hear exactly what Ash had to say, uh, then you can uh, then you can do that as well. Uh, what else have I got for you? We are expecting to see and hear from Ash this week for some more updates. Part of what he said on Sunday was that we have uh, coming up in the future, probably before uh, what's happening in November, uh, bigger news than we had when we said we were going to be at the Burj Khalifa. So uh, lots of things are happening. Things are moving very fast, as you all well know. Uh, this is just another part of what we are trying to do here with our passive is to keep you updated and informed as much as possible. Uh, Tuesday, not much is going on on Tuesday, but tomorrow, remember, we've got 360. Ash popped on to 360 last week. Is he going to be here tomorrow? Who knows? He might well be. I don't know. He does like the format. So if he is, then make sure you book it into your diaries for the time, which is always at 12 noon uh, Eastern Daylight Time, which is 5 p.m. UK time, 6 p.m. in for Central European time. Uh, what's that going to be? That's going to be around about 9.30, I think, for you guys over in India. <clears throat> so lots to look forward to this week. Uh, obviously, I keep saying the same thing. Every day that passes is one day closer to our main goal. We have been given all of the pieces of the puzzle now, guys. We know what we are. We know where we are and we know where we are going. Ram, Ben, uh, Yagov, thank you so much. All the way over there in Israel. Good friend of mine. Great guy. What a supporter of on passive this man is. He's doing great things over there. Uh, thank you for your super sticker, my friend. My friend Marty said 2 p.m. Did a yoha. Okay, so he's changed it. Then it's going to be 2 p.m., which is means it will be at 7 p.m. UK time and 8 p.m. Eastern, which makes that uh, 11:30 uh, for you guys over in India. If you can stay up for that, uh, that's good news to know because I have to post it out in the morning. If it's going to be uh, 2 p.m., I can get that sorted. Uh, for everyone there. Uh, what else have I got for you? Uh, for those of you who were in the UK uh, yesterday, obviously myself and Jet or myself wasn't on doing a live because it was the ceremonial funeral for uh, our Queen of England, uh, Elizabeth II. Uh, Ivana Polsarova, thank you so much for your super sticker as well. Um, I was talking to Jane and I was talking to many people about uh, the funeral. It's It's been very, very uh, touching how it's affected so many people in the UK and around the world, to be honest. I really didn't believe that the UK, the United Kingdom, would come together so much for our Queen. Uh, but it's been a, an amazing spectacle. Uh, nobody does pomp and ceremony like the Brits do. Uh, the show yesterday was nothing short of awe-inspiring. There was 
everything that you would expect to have this send off for our late queen. Um, myself personally, it's really nice that she's going to be laid to rest in Windsor Castle. Uh, it's not necessarily the traditional place for monarchs to be laid to rest. Uh, it's a place I do know, as I spoke to you guys about, and it is a, such a great setting for her. She spent a lot of time uh, in Windsor Castle. In fact, it was her residence uh, for most of her life as well. So uh, really good to see that. And uh, thank you all for understanding that I wasn't going to be on yesterday because uh, the whole place <laughs> closed down, to be honest. Yeah, it really was very eerie. Uh, here in the UK yesterday with uh, uh, what was going on. But anyway, we're back together now uh, on passive. The on passive train is certainly trundling on at full speed and we are just tying up loose ends, really. That's all we're doing. Remember, Ash talked about the products that have been done and parked, everything else. What we are doing now is really polishing it up, you know, getting that gleam on it, making it nice and shiny so that when we take the covers off, we're going to get that wow effect from the whole of the public. And this is what we're really after doing at the moment is to make sure that when we do have it open to the public, they are going to be coming in and they are going to be absolutely all inspired by what we have done over the last four years. We know a little bit about it. And on the talking, we only know a little bit from what our CEO has shared when he shares his screen and showed us what is going to be there. Can you imagine seeing all of that for the very first time? We have an inkling. We have been drip fed it a little bit, haven't we, over a period of time to know and to expect it. You know, the uh, web pages that have been designed talking of that, I said on Passive Never Stops, what have we got now? Monday. Did we have a new website? Yes, we did. What are we on now? 71, 72 on our links. They are coming thick and fast. That's just with two a week. Imagine when we go to three a week, which we will be very shortly. And then after three a week, it will be every single day. This is how we scale up. We do it to begin with. It's a little unstable. It's a little bit glitchy. You know, that gets all stabilized. And then we move on from that. We use that firm base to then go to the next level. This is how we do it. We design, we upgrade, we produce, stabilize, scale up. And every single time we do anything and everything, we will and we are going to that one point higher each time we do it. As Ash often says, once we reach the top, what do we do? We make a new top. And this is how we do it, guys. We're starting off at a very, very high level. We're not talking garages. We're not talking burger vans, carts, back offices, mum's bedroom, anything like that. We are talking uh, about a full-blown massive business that has multiple locations, offices in the Burj Khalifa, is in leased in four different countries. You know, this is how we start a business that is going to be reckoned with within the globe. I can't be any more excited about where I am at the moment as a founder of this company. And you guys should be too. So that's about all I have for you. I'm going to give everyone a good shout out now. Thank you for you guys who have given me a super sticker and for your support. Thank you once again for all my tea clubbers. You are the guys that support me on a monthly basis, all in green. So we'll start off with Tawa, Tangula, Roy Davis, Hassan Albana. Hello to you guys, John Berea. Uh, we've got Gina Lever, Ruth Pace, and Annette Be, ha Annette be Happy. Uh, Fatima's here and Amal Fataya, uh, Latoya Belgrove, Juanita Esther Hillard, Sanjeev Dua, Ajit uh, Marky, hi, Listra, lovely Listra, Amal, uh, we've had loads of you, uh, Susan Marie, John he uh, Jane Helms, the lovely Polly Cherry, Dana's Energy, and Sataya V. 
uh, Mavis Bonney, Stephen Coleman, Christina Dodds, Roy Davis, and then Kaylee, who I was talking to, was in first at the beginning. Uh, James Hawkins, uh, we've got the lovely Dawn McIntyre, Roy McPhail, uh, Wanda Cooper. Uh, we've also got uh, Mo Khan from the UK, Kina, Kina uh, Kianaina McLaughlin. Oh, I can never say you, uh, Kina. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Casey Zeverberger, Kiwi Marge, hi. Uh, Sir, Sir Yug G, hi. Raphael San Germain, I've just put in a new video of his on my channel. Peter Hayes, hello to you. Uh, Karina Lanz, hi. Uh, we've also got uh, Latoya Belgrave, Amal Fataya, Wisdom Seema, uh, the fantastic Roy Davis, and Jan Narup, hi. Uh, Sir Vigil Islam, uh, who else have we got? few more hellos before I slide off. Kisho, hi to you. Mohammed Rubel, Barry Dang, hello buddy. Uh, Samaria Jan and Nagail Peters. Sean Cyrus, my man, my 2018er. Always silent, hello to you. Uh, MS Rinna and Long, Holly the Bugs. Joseph Castingay, hi to you. Beyond Life, Ian Rodu. Esther Hillard, uh, Hilliard actually. Laurie Lunn, uh, Pushpin Media, uh, Prosper Abba, hi to you, Tanya Hannard, and Mark Booth, Randy Leonard, Santi, uh, Ed Ampassivian, hello to you, George Kenneth Kennedy, Erin Frost, and that is uh, Bay Reuben May, uh, good try, Kenana, Kenna, Ken, Kianan, Kianan. Kiana. 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 Okay. We're getting there. Fred Bocci. Uh, Bochway. Sorry. Uh, you try doing this. It's not easy, I'll tell you. Uh, Frida Bottaway and a couple more. Mo Khan from the UK. Hello, buddy. Bruce Gerstein, my good friend from over the pond. Uh, Yin Yang 40444. Hello to you, buddy. And Deborah Enslin, Enslin, Greg Gaynor. And that will do. Oh, yeah, just before I go, by the way, uh, I've been doing the uh lives now at this time, which is 6 p.m. UK, which is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, we'll be back in base probably by Friday. Do you want me to stick with the 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. UK, or go back to the 11 a.m. Eastern and the 4 p.m. Uh, UK time? What is the general consensus? Stick it in the chat. Uh, so Lister loves uh, this time. Barry Dang wants uh, 11 Eastern, 1 11, 4 o'clock UK, 11, 11s, 6, 11, 11, 11. One's okay, 11, 11, 11. So it's looking like 11's winning. Okay, that suits me, to be fair. Lots of ones as well. It's a close call. Uh, 11s, 11s. Yeah, OK, we're going to go uh, for 11s. Obviously, uh, the time is going to be different in India because there's a half hour difference. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying they were used uh, to. Um, they were used to uh, the 11 o'clock one and most people were waking up with red with a cup of coffee. <laughs> so we'll go back to the 11 o'clock when we. Uh, when we're back in uh, Gloucester, which should be about Friday, I expect. Anyway, that's it from me. Remember, go read what is in your back office, guys. Very important. If you're admins of groups, make sure you go into <coughs> make sure you go into all of the groups that you're admins for. Have a good look around. Delete anything that's not uh, that's inappropriate from there. Uh, pendings going to be extended for a few days. We'll get probably an update from Ash to tell us exactly when that's going to be. In the meantime, I have June uh, 2020s if anybody wants them. 
Also follow those uh, steps if you're having problems logging in, whether it's coming up with invalids, uh, credentials not recognized, or, or you're not even receiving the email from corporate, try going to the login page, hit, click the reset uh, password button, put that email in that you have registered, and that seems to be fixing quite a lot of the problems. So give that a go. If not, reach out to the person that you've had the pending position from and work with them as much as possible. You might have to give another email. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thanks so much for being on, all 300 plus of you. Uh, it's been great that you're supporting me on this channel. Remember, take a look at all the other contexts that I put in this channel. Give us some feedback in the comments sections of those videos. I love to hear from you. If I don't always reply, at least I read them all. Anyway, that's it for me. Bye for now.